Mark, you, you talk about in the book a concept of, of demystifying the exit process. So, so what exactly do you mean by this? And how should business owners change the way they talk about exits? So most boards don't want to talk about exits. There's a stigma attached to it. The CEO is afraid that their, his or her investors are going to think their heart's not in it anymore. They've lost their energy. And board members, investors, especially if they're coming to the end of a fund, fund cycle, they may not want to discuss it with other uh, fellow investors or with the CEO. And we think transparency is really important. So we coined this phrase, an annual exit talk. We think it's really important once a year on a regularly scheduled cadence for the board, for the CEO to lead a conversation about uh, when is it time to have an exit? When is it time to sell the company? And it, it could be many years in the future. It could be, this could be a shorter conversation, but as you get closer to where an exit uh, potentially could happen, then the question becomes, what are you optimizing for? Who is the type of acquirer? Is it going to be a strategic investor? Is it going to be a financial investor? Do they care about top line revenue? Do they care about EBITDA? Do they care about your patent portfolio? Because as you start to get closer to a transaction, you can turn the knobs a little bit and adjust your business to fine tune it, to optimize for a transaction based on the type of buyer you think is most likely to happen. So we think demystifying the process, creating alignment, creating transparency amongst all the stakeholders is a really important tool. Mark, just to follow up on that a little bit, we, we talk a lot about you know, beginning with the end in mind. I'll go back to kind of Stephen Covey. Sure. That's sort of what, what you guys are, are, are espousing in the book, right? Is to have a process and, and make sure you're intentional about it early on, right? Absolutely. The minute you take other people's money. If you have investors, you're taking your investors agenda and you're taking them their time horizon. So many venture capital firms have a, let's call it a seven to 10 year time horizon when they have to return capital back to their LPs. If it's private equity, it's a shorter time horizon. It might be three to five years. And so understanding your partner's agenda, what's important to them, their time horizon, and not being afraid to have that mutual alignment, that conversation, so everybody understands you know, what's important to them, when and why, I think is critically important. 